Greetings, gardeners. I woke up this morning at uh, 5 30. The cat was <laughs> whacking at my toes and purring and saying, Come on, Bill, get out of bed. And I said, All right, I'll get up. So I wandered out into the front room and looked out the window, and whoa, the most beautiful wet moon. I haven't seen a wet moon in almost 40 years. It's it's not that they're that rare. It's just that you have to be there at that time <laughs> watching, you know. And uh, yeah, it was rising out of the ocean. And a wet moon is uh, like a Cheshire cat smile. It looks like a bowl. It is the tiniest little bitty crescent lit from below. Um, that one star off to the side. And uh, it points upwards at the sky like two bull's horns. Um, and was just about to disappear, heading towards the new moon. So it was just a little tiny smile. Uh, I haven't seen one in years. It has been so long. I recall um, in Wisconsin seeing one and mentioning it to my neighbor, who was a dairy farmer, and, well, they assured me that the wet moon means drought. I said, huh, okay, why? Well, because it's pointing upwards at the sky and it catches the rainfall. I said, well, that's right. Ridiculous! I don't believe that. Um, but, you know, and the dry moon, of course, is the opposite. It points downward, generally uh, more towards summer. And uh, so that usually indicates it's going to rain, according to the farmers. Well, you know, a lot of this stuff, people believe things for one reason, but what they believe might actually be true for another reason. In this case, I laughed when I heard that a wet moon causes drought, but we haven't had a drop of rain here for eight days. I mean, that's almost a record for Puna. Uh, really, it's almost a record. I don't know how far in the past we have actually gone without any rain, but this is a place where usually it rains every day, at least a little bit at least a little bit during the morning or at night or something you know uh, we get whole days where it never stops raining <laughs> and so uh, uh, it is unusual that we'd happen to have this wet moon also called the cheshire moon because of the smile uh, a little unusual who knows <laughs> what the connection might be uh, there's a few of those things my uh, stepfather who was a meteorologist uh, for united airlines um I, I, I asked him one time about uh, uh, the full moon, viewing the full moon, and he uh, indicated that ordinarily on full moon nights, meteorologically, the skies are clear. And uh, Ed had no scientific explanation for why that actually occurs, but uh, it's just matter of record. Yeah, you watch the moon phases and you look at the clouds and you find out that the clouds tend to break on full moon nights. Um, yeah, I know the last full moon here uh, was very clear, beautiful. Okay, y'all hang loose later.